The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. This is me wearing protective equipment every time I go out. I always wear two masks, a surgical mask inside and a cloth one outside. It varies from situation to situation depending on the availability, but I would always wear two. Now, I am yet to meet more fellow Filipinos who happen to be either autistic, have ADHD, or any other mental health diagnosis. I want to be of service to him or her or at least have a chat. Because he or she is not just wearing physical masks, but also psychological ones. Layers upon layers upon layers of them. And somehow... I understand the struggle. Because it's real. Ladies and gentlemen, from its studio south of Manila, IJR Productions presents The Intrepid Show. Hi, I'm Ian Vrignon, an independent alternative media practitioner among other things. And no, I neither am autistic, nor have ADHD, nor any other mental health diagnosis, or at least not yet clinically diagnosed in a formal manner. But we will deal with that later on. Anyway, welcome to a very special episode of The Intrepid Show. And honestly, this should have been the second episode, but it has gone a long, long way since. After uh, countless burnouts, uh, meltdowns, and a physical shutdown because of what I fear is COVID-19, I, I don't know, uh, last January kasi yun. Here I am. <laughs> Here I am doing this stuff. And uh, even the Russo-Ukrainian war would not stop me in uh, doing this video because it's been a long time coming and I should do this now before uh before things get heated up so yeah so you may be wondering why on earth am i tackling mental health if i am not a mental health professional well good sir and gracious madam you do not have to be a mental health professional to raise awareness of its importance and to promote acceptance of neurodiverse people in our rather neurotypical society instead of stigmatizing or ostracizing them do i fucking make myself clear the reason why I'm doing this video is because there is still some stigma left when it comes to talking about the, the health of one's mind, specifically in this country, and even considered taboo. For some reason, Filipino culture developed words that pertain to the sad state of one's mind, uh, such as ulul, baliw, buwang, loko-loko, may saltik, and many others I would rather not mention. There is no problem in using these terms if it was not meant to degrade the person and was meant to be a joke. But prudence and the right balance of one's actions and words goes a long, long way. And as a default, you shouldn't use these terms at the first instance. Because of this, many who are neurodivergent, that is a generalized term for people who have a different wiring of their brains, tend to hide uh, their mental health condition by appearing like a normal person walking along the street, trying his or her best to mingle in the most neurotypical way possible and probably to not be obvious with traits people may raise a red flag within their own brains by the way to put it simply that is what we call masking and that's why during this time of masks neurodivergent people have to wear at least two kinds of them and before i forget when we talk about autism formerly known as autism spectrum disorder or asd I would be using identity first language here. So when I always say the term autistic, I do so out of brevity compared to person first language such as person or persons with autism and with a gesture of respect and empathy to those clinically diagnosed for reasons I would mention near the end of this video and not carelessly, carelessly use the term like what Pantaleon Alvarez did. 
There are also people who prefer to be identified as autistics and it's not an issue for them. As for ADHD, I would refer to them as ADHDers uh, in this video with the same benign intent. And aside from these two, there are other mental health conditions that are too many to mention and may or may not be included in the DSM-5, aka the Psychological Professionals Bible, that I might forget them all anyway. So I would just use neurodivergent spectrum as a generalized term. So with pleasantries and clarifications sorted, let's begin. Around four years ago, the Philippine government passed a bill establishing a national mental health policy for the purpose of enhancing the delivery of integrated mental health services, promoting and protecting the rights of persons utilizing psychosocial health services, appropriating funds therefore, and for other related purposes. That description is actually the longer title of what we now know as Republic Act 11036 or the Mental Health Act of 2018. Almost four years on, it is such a shame that the law lacks enough teeth to enforce the, the importance of assessing one's brain whether or not it was typically wired. It is also a shame that the Department of Health is having their hands full with COVID-19, which is absolutely understandable, and their alleged mismanagement of the funds allocated to them by the Philippine government, which is absolutely questionable. Because of this, neurodiverse people and even neurotypicals undergoing mental health conditions are left to fend for themselves and rely on individual healthcare systems and non-governmental organizations for diagnosis, support, recovery, or all of the above. If not for the Philippine franchise of the Big Brother reality show, which I am really wondering how ABS-CBN still retained the show despite being sadly forced off the air back in Anos Horribilis 2020, we will never realize that people are having a hard time becoming human beings. And no, it's not about Tony Gonzaga. Shut up. One of the housemates who manifested a neurodivergent brain was ex-actor Albi Casino. He happened to be the ex-boyfriend of Andy Eigenman who, and was initially named the father of her first daughter. The allegation was later dropped, but not until Casino was mentally and physically assaulted. To make the long story short, Casino resented everything that happened in their rather toxic relationship, which drew tons of flack from Andy's fans. Then, when he confessed to Kuya that he was diagnosed with ADHD, people on social media dismissed it as a fraud, pag-iinarte or just acting out, or a rich kid privilege, where they call it a moneyed version of being insane, of being maisaltik, all of which some of Andy's fans and even Albi's detractors, to their credit, called foul. Another housemate who suffered from a mental health condition is young Kapamilya actress Alexa Ilakad. People may notice that Ilakad is not really the ideal young actress the show business prefers given her rather normal weight and body figure in terms of real-world standards. While people around her try to reassure her that her body was fine, Ilakad confessed that it is not how her brain was thinking. She revealed that her own brain is body shaming her. And that is basically what body dysmorphic disorder is in a nutshell. BDDers tend to body shame themselves and that sucks even to those not experiencing it. Although she has improved her body figure since then and after she left the Big Brother house and since she and fellow housemate Katie Estrada established a love team, I still hope she would continue her therapy and, if applicable, medication. Ayan ha, wala na akong utang sa mga KDLX shippers dyan. It just saddens me that Filipinos do not know or worse, refuse to know about mental health conditions just because most of us believe in the divine. And later, I will tell you why this is questionable. They also dismiss people who genuinely struggle with uh, the unusual wiring of their brains while maintaining a stiff upper lip. Uh, in this digital age, the said sentiments moved from word of mouth to written word to social media. For the sake of my own sanity and yours, I would not read or even look at those comments. I did talk with someone on the autistic spectrum with a promise to withhold his name and personal information. 
the guy told me that aside from the usual benign effects, he did experience the stigma and the usual symptoms of being in the spectrum. Furthermore, I remembered this high school classmate of mine who, as far as I can remember, might have been diagnosed with ADHD. He was an ex-athlete, specifically a fencer, and he somehow got the attention and acceptance of people because he was a new kid in school in our senior year, something people now call grade 10. There is a possibility that he was masking at some point, but I noticed he was different from the usual faces I encountered in school in terms of behavior. Wherever he may be, I hope he's doing well. I also had a conversation with a well-known content creator in the Philippine YouTube scene, and while I would detail what he said to me later, I can say that he suspected himself to be neurodivergent and probably an autistic at that. But then again, autistic, ADHD, and other neurodiverse traits are sometimes hidden or unrecognized until one gets an official diagnosis, or in the case of the Philippines, disregarded or dismissed as overreacting. Nag-iinarte ka lang! Nag-iinarte lang yan! And because of these comments, neurodivergent Filipinos tend to keep their suspicions to themselves, prefer not to be diagnosed, or resort to masking. And remember the Plantation Bay incident where the management staff allegedly discriminated against a family because they have an autistic child? Yeah, that was fucking ugly. To combat this, the neurodivergent movement has been in constant search for a universal sign that someone has a mental health condition. Specifically, the autistic community has been dealing with both the puzzle piece and the infinity symbol. The puzzle piece and the light blue color attributed to autism was initiated by the NGO Autism Speaks. However, the autistic community actually criticized the organization and criticized heavily since they seem to only cater to parents, relatives, and friends of autistic individuals who are probably neurotypical instead of the autistic individuals themselves. They supposedly state that ASD is a mental health condition that needs to be quote-unquote cured. And to add insult to injury, according to actual autistics, the organization promotes Applied Behavior Analysis or ABA, an alleged therapy that aims to make autistic individuals mask themselves in order to be accepted in a neurotypical world. While there are ABA methods that are, that are usually centered on managing autistic behavior and mannerisms such as self-stimulatory behavior or STIMs, although non-harming ones should be allowed to continue, in my opinion, because I also have my own STIMs, there are also methods that are outrightly hell-bent on making a person's autism quote-unquote disappear. One of the primary methods supposedly used in ABA is electrocution, which is used mostly against their own will if autistic persons re- undergoing this manifest autistic traits. Then there are parents of neurotypical children. The best or maybe worst example for ASD is the veteran actress Candy Panglinan, who while neurotypical has an autistic son named Quentin. And yet he gets to do a lot of good stuff, such as being an altar boy at mass at Santo Domingo Church, which I am very pleased as a Thamashian. There's actually a premise that since she co-presents the Father Sani Ramirez legacy program sharing from the city, albeit on social media, Candy and Quentin attend mass at Blackfriars HQ. However, in her guesting on ABS-CBN's morning talk show Magandang Buhay a few years ago, she claimed that because her of her ep- efforts to quote-unquote correct her son's behavior, Quentin's autism quote-unquote disappeared or was ruled out and that's an absolutely dangerous premise to make let alone share on national television for all i know her guesting was probably before the kapamilya shutdown so that's that of late in a facebook group mostly composed of parents of autistic children the aubrey miles came out and told the community that her three-year-old daughter was diagnosed as an autistic And at this point, I don't want to talk to my utter shame about how her past life became the fantasy of teenage boys like me back then. So please shut the fuck up about that, okay? Mind you, not all parents are like this, as I also consulted a mother I knew who has an autistic daughter and struggles to make her daughter's life as normal as possible while accepting her neurodiversity because 
in contrast to popular imagery of autism and it being limited to men and boys, women and girls can also be autistic. I shared to her the draft of this video script and she approved of it without any major revisions. So whatever you have heard from me, it passed through her first. Besides, they may have little to no idea regarding ASD and they do not know of autistic adults and autistic parents whose kids are also autistic who may help them with, with the struggles they face in dealing with their child's autistic traits. Sooner or later, these parents may discover that they themselves might be autistic because it is a hereditary thing. It's a hereditary condition. In defiance, the adult and late diagnosis autistic community come up with a symbol of their own, the infinity loop sign, either in the rainbow spectrum or in gold as an elemental deducing of the first two letters of autism. But if you ask me, it seems the bloody Brits have a better idea. And it embraces all neurodivergence, not just autistic folks. Bloody hell. An advocacy shop called Hidden Disabilities used the sunflower as a universal sign that an individual who wears such, specifically a green lanyard with an identification card, bracelet, cap, or in the context of COVID-19 prevention, mask studded with sunflowers, is a neurodivergent or physiodivergent who might need a special kind of help and more importantly, a lot of understanding. It also is not that obvious as a sunflower is a normal embellishment in clothing or in gangs to speak, drip. Think about Lito Atienza, but instead of a reddish Hawaiian style floral shirt, he wears a green one studded with sunflowers. This sign was actually adopted not only in the UK but also in other Commonwealth countries, specifically in airports, and might probably be the British contribution to the global advocacy of properly accepting neurodivergence in our rather neurotypical society. I just hope neurodiverse Filipinos and parents of neurodiverse Pinoy kids will adopt this in the long run. So why do I even talk about this? As I said earlier, I find myself empathetic of the people who were the loner type. Those bullied for their different personality, being called names and made the butt of all jokes because I've been there, done that. Basically, I want to be there for the little guy. Until I realized empathy is one of the primary traits of neurodivergent individuals which, if done too often, might result in people pleasing. Because the next thing I knew, they dumped me. You know, for the longest time. I see myself as a failure. A sham, a fraud, a lucky son of a gun, a shiny piece of shit. And I thought to myself that I might have done it better if I could just give it another try, but one side of my brain tells me to screw all that and just give him the finger, Tejero brother style. Tang ina mo, Hans Asperger! Ulupong ka ni Hitler! One night, in my frequent conversations with the mother superior, she told me her pediatrician observed little me, this was back in the 90s, and noted I was having a hard time making eye contact. Earlier in that talk, I told her I was also struggling with focusing on what is important, such as work, which I now see as a manifestation of my struggles with executive function. Looking back at that, I suddenly got to watch neurodivergent content creators. To name a few, there's Dan of the Aspie World, Jessica McCabe of How to ADHD, Olivia Hopps, Orion Kelly, Chloe Hayden, who just had her big break in a Netflix series acting out a legit autistic character, mind you, Paige Leal, Taylor Heaton, the mom on the spectrum, Yo Sam D. Sam, Purple Ella, The Odd Amazing Family, where the main content creator is Cammie, an American autistic mother whose husband and all their five kids also in the spectrum, and Father Matthew Schneider of the Legionaries of Christ. Yes, he's both a Catholic priest and autistic, probably diagnosed after his ordination. There's also Candice Urquiola, the ADHD PT, a Filipina physical therapy practitioner who was also recently diagnosed. As for Father Schneider's case, this might also mean that even if you believe in God, you can still be in the spectrum. Heck, we might realize that some of the Catholic saints we admire 
and ask for prayers might be neurodivergent all along. So, that's that. There are even speculations that Marshall Mathers, aka Eminem, is autistic based on some of his rap tracks. Because of these folks, I not only get to suspect myself to be in the spectrum, and the mother superior did tell me I might happen to be autistic who managed to live a neurotypical life so far, but also get to share these thoughts with my beloved girlfriend. Who, if only we both had the time and the resources to get our mental conditions checked, I would do it, and hopefully she also does. If I knew that she or I or both of us are maybe in the larger neurodivergent spectrum, and I hope you're hearing this, you know who you are, I would love her precisely because we are both neurodivergent and she is just like me because our brains may be wired differently than the rest of the world and it's basically a, and we're basically differently wired from each other that's for sure but we managed to deal with life differently and it's actually an achievement on its own and I hope I would realize that on myself and yeah <laughs> You know who you are, uh, you, uh, the girl that I uh, am talking about. You know who you are. I love you. I really love you. That's, that's all I can say. As I mentioned earlier, I am not yet clinically diagnosed with anything at this point. But if and when I am officially diagnosed as a neurodivergent, at least my burning desire to know if I was autistic or not would be quenched. At least I can definitely say, it all makes bloody sense now. But then again, it might just be the beginning of the shit show as I might go, go back to the first stage of grief, which is denial. I might be angry if, at myself for not knowing this sooner. Then I might bargain to take me back to the time when I knew I was different from the other kids and have, a cur have the courage to say, what are you looking at? Mind your own business. All the while, burnouts and meltdowns and shutdowns will be more common until such time I can go back to my pre-diagnosis state of mind where I hope to accept myself by saying something like it all makes sense now and I hope I can be of help. But until I get an official diagnosis, I would just be that silent guy in the corner minding his own business looking for an opportunity to be of help to people, especially those in the spectrum. Because aside from a different wiring in their brains, they're just like the rest of us. Okay, um, at this point of the video, it's been a few days, I think uh, three actually, uh, since the time that I have uh, recorded uh, the major part or the, the meat or the, uh, the meat of the whole topic regarding neurodiverg uh, neuro neurodiversity here in the Philippines. And uh, and uh, the neurotypical response in this country. Now, if you would give me the grace, I would uh, go personal here. Because uh, quite honestly, this is uh, these are the things that I have observed in myself, uh, specifically because uh, I suspect myself to be autistic. Or at the very least, uh, someone who is very much neurodivergent. So, uh, very, uh, very, very early on, I have noticed that I might have a problem with executive fun function, aka executive dysfunction. Yeah, I really had that uh, that thing on in my head. That yeah, I'm I'm very much. Uh, problematic regarding that and uh, even now that I have that I have a job and I have a YouTube channel it's just freaking overwhelming okay it's just freaking overwhelming and then some of the reasons why I uh, somehow had an idea that I might be autistic I'm is that I somehow uh, uh, answer these uh, self-help 
tests and assessments that uh, some neurodivergent, ano, neurodivergent uh, people, neurodivergent uh, in, um, uh, content creators on YouTube, as well as um, neurodivergent uh, social media uh, social media personalities, uh, have uh, provided in their ano, in their content. So uh, I do try that out, and um, it it somehow didn't disappoint because. Uh, it's very much lining up at this point. I have the hunch that I am having executive dysfunction. And then I have self, uh, self-help self tests saying that, dude, Ian, you might be autistic. <laughs> and um, that's already, you know, that's already, um, that's already uh, two points for my, uh, for my uh, suspicion that I, I am in the spectrum. And then uh, you might, that, and then I might notice that I had this, uh, I had this uh, challenge that I share this challenge that late diagnosis of autistic individuals, uh, that they're having the, these, you know, these, um, uh, I don't know how to say this in English, pero uh, nag-aalang, nag-aalangan sila na dun sa diagnosis nila. That's how. Uh, that's how uh, complicated uh, this thing is, and uh, and uh, and what's worse is that uh, a lot of study uh, about autism is focused on children and not on adults, which is uh, which is a uh, good at one thing. Uh, basically, at the very least, you have uh, early diagnosis. But then again, a lot of a lot of things should be done. Uh, a lot of work is, uh, needs to be done because uh, there are still people who are in the spectrum who does not know that uh, they might be in the larger neurodivergent spectrum, and then um, so that's uh, that's already uh, that's already three. The fourth thing that I did, you know, I did realize in creating this video is that I also had. Uh, some personal stims and observed symptoms. Uh, one of my stims actually is to uh, wrap my hands everywhere, uh, as you might notice in uh, some of the videos that I have been doing for the past three years now. <laughs> I can't believe it. Damn, tatlong taon na pala ako dito sa YouTube. Um, yun yeah, uh, I I have this ano, I have this um, mannerism. I have the, all of these mannerisms and these mannerisms. Might happen to be uh, stims because I, 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 I do this and uh, the, these are what's normal to me that I can do this and uh, and at the very least uh, it's it's okay because it's it's making me perform better uh, although it's uh, also susceptible to masking at some point. Observed symptoms is that uh, I have poor eye contact actually. Both my girlfriend and I have poor eye contact, and uh, we can't look at each other straight in the eye, and uh, that's fine. I still love her, that's for sure. I still love her. If you're hearing this, you know who you are. I still love you. Okay, uh, parehas lang tayong wala masyadong maayos na eye contact, so that's not a problem. But I guess that's, ano, that's, uh, that's, maybe that's the reason why uh, I, I love her is because <laughs> we're we're having a hard time on eye contact and maybe we can help each other out with that <laughs> and then um ayun, uh i also get easily triggered so does she so um uh but uh she gets triggered easily more than i uh kumbaga uh i can still uh i can still manage that and uh, once it's uh, no, once it's uh, once the threat is already out, and then I I would start uh, throwing shit out, <laughs> uh, in my mind and all that, and then yeah, masking. It's really something that I have. I didn't notice that I have been doing for the past twenty nine years of my life, na. I've been masking all along <laughs> that uh I mean 
I I'm not doing very well in uh the things that I have been doing for the past almost 10 years of my career of my career. And uh I've been doubting myself na ano sang kangungan ako pupulutin? Ano bang gagawin ko, 'di ba? It's it really is devastating and it's very, very depressing actually for me. And um I think it's also ano, it's also a, a trait of uh, of uh, neurodivergent individuals that they somehow uh, they somehow unfortunately do not have uh, job security. I think that's uh, I think that's something. And uh, but to compensate it all, they can basically do um, other stuff such as. Uh, you know, uh, content creation, katulad na ginagawa ko ngayon. Uh, there are also autistic individuals or individuals in the spectrum that are also YouTubers, the ones that I have that I have mentioned, or, or maybe in ADHD, or even both. Diba? It's, um, I have mentioned all of them uh, previously in the, uh, in the earlier, er, earlier part of this video. And then, I also had a short exchange with uh, Kuya Jared, Kuya Jared Gillette of uh, Puting Pinoy. And, um, he has been very much open with uh, his uh, his uh, suspicion that he might he himself might be autistic. Uh, nung pinanood, nung pinanood ko yung ano wedding video yung ano yung same day edit or SDE wedding ano ng kasal nila ni ano ni Gail. I have been ano I have been I have been thinking to myself maybe this is the reason why uh, ja- Kuya Jared is a uh, telling uh telling uh or, or saying to him, saying to himself that he's weird uh maybe that's the reason why and i ha- uh, and um i do appreciate him uh i do appreciate him being very candid about it in one of the comments that he made uh in one of my uh ve- one of my unedited videos and uh i guess i i do uh, appreciate that he has been uh, he has been very candid about mental health, about psychology, and um, Gail is supporting him uh, in all of that. So, ang masasabi ko lang, I think I need to, uh, no, I need to edit that um, uh, salty reactions video that I made uh, after I have done with this. <laughs> I'm done with this. Ano, I'm done with this. Uh, I'm done with this video. Uh, but then again, of course, uh, work comes first. So uh matatagalan yon and besides it's already lent so yeah uh, I need to lie low as well so that's uh that's the prob that's actually one problem but anyway I do ano I do uh appreciate uh Kuya Jared's um sincerity and even his ano even his support in um in uh offering to uh collab uh, collaborate uh, in this, ano, in this, uh, in this topic regarding neurodiversity in the Philippines, um, of course, marami ako ano, marami ako ng mami miss out dito. I, I would have, I would have a lot to miss out. I, I would miss out a lot of things, that's for sure. And uh, I, I only hope for Kuya Jared to uh, fill that up because, uh, because uh, he's offering the, ano, he's offering to, uh, to make a collab with me. Uh, in the first place. And di ko na magano, di na ako magano ng resibo dito, but uh he already know, he already knew it and uh he's one of the first guys that I uh that uh that read the script of this video. Kaya masasabi ko talaga na ano, uh he's very much you know, he's very much involved in the creation of this video as well as um as a mom, as well as that of a mom of a neurodivergent uh neurodivergent daughter. So uh I did encounter her in college. Hindi ko na lang masasabi, hindi ko na lang sabihin yung full details, but I did encounter her in college and uh I only I only knew that uh she had uh her daughter had ano uh her daughter is in the autistic spectrum. Uh I only confirmed that a few weeks ago. Uh kaya I did ano, I did uh, share that uh share the script and uh, she didn't uh, no, she didn't as i said earlier she didn't uh had any qualms on it uh 
I proceeded as usual. Of course, I would have to credit her for that. Whoever you are, maraming salamat po. Uh, you basically, you know, you basically uh, uh, helped me uh, create this video. <laughs> and uh, it, if not for, you know, if not for putting Pinoy and this, you know, and this, um, uh, this mother of an uh, of an autistic girl, uh, this video and this concept would never uh would never take flight. So yun lang naman. Uh I do I do also am uh involved with uh Philip with Filipino neurodivergent groups uh here on Facebook in, in Facebook as well as in Discord. Uh specifically sa Discord yung ano uh adults with ADHD Philippines. I'm not sure about the name of the ano the name of the the group here. Let me just check. Sorry. <laughs> Uh ha. Huh. Yeah, adulting with ADHD. So, uh I do recommend uh, this if you are uh if you suspect yourself to be with ADHD or uh if you are autistic with an with an ADHD comorbidity which is basically what I am suspecting myself to be. So, yun lang naman yung ano, yun lang naman sa akin. Anyway, uh uh finally, I would like to ano, I would like to uh make this observation regarding uh, Filipino parents of neurodivergent kids. I understand that they are trying to, st- they're struggling very hard to earn a living and to take care of their autistic children. I, I absolutely understand that. I, I, do, uh, I do appreciate that they are uh, they're trying to accept that uh, their children are in the spectrum and uh, these ano uh, and these behaviors that their children are uh their children are uh uh showing are very much ano uh, are very much a uh, normal for uh for their neurodiversity it's just that it's just one side of the coin and we are not yet ano uh, we are we do i do not yet see um neurodivergent Filipino adults late diagnosis autistics late diagnosis ADHDers everyone else who is a uh, neuro- neurodivergent uh during their ano uh, during their uh, uh during their adult uh in, who are already adults when they were diagnosed so i think the the call here is for us to narrow the gap kumbaga we should narrow the gap between uh, ayoko sabing actual autistics, but uh, basically late diagnosis autistics or late diagnosis uh, neurodivergent Filipinos and uh, parents of neurodivergent Filipino children. Kasi uh, these parents are basically struggling and uh, the neurodivergent uh, Filipinos, the, the neurodivergent Filipino adults can very much help them uh uh not only accept uh their uh their children's neurodiversity but also provide them with practical tips that that would uh help manage the the behavior of their children na hindi lang sila ano na hindi lang sila mag uh, ano mag uh magdedepende sa isa't isa na tawag dito these ano uh, these autistic adults these ADHD adults would very much ano uh, would very much help these parents uh understand uh, understand um much better uh the diagnosis of their children because they themselves are diagnosed in their adulthood and uh even though not one autistic not no two autistic persons are the same no two ADHD years are the same uh at the very least uh the support would be mutual kumbaga the support would be mutual uh and uh malay natin diba as i said earlier malay natin uh these parents of uh, neurodivergent filipino children might uh realize that they themselves uh, exp- uh have these you uh, know have these um, have these uh, traits themselves, and 
uh, may fully understand na kaya pala ganito ang anak ko kasi ganito din pala ako. Yung mga ganong realizations which is very much liberating. Very, very liberating. I have to say that. That is very liberating and uh, I really hope that it would be. Now, uh, <laughs> It's just, ano, it's just, um, I just feel a sense of relief right now because I understand that we are, uh, the world is already facing uh, a very uh, grim conflict such as the Russo-Ukrainian war, but at least I'm relieved that I am already recording this. And before I get too emotional and stretch this video very much, uh, very much longer, I will end this video here. So if you like what you just saw, uh, full 30, 40, or 50 minutes of it, and uh, and uh, you really appreciate what uh, what I have done here, I would very much appreciate it if, it if you would click the thumbs up icon below and share this video around. And I would also invite you to subscribe to this channel and uh, ring the notification bell by selecting all. That way, you would be notified if ever I have new videos. Plus, I might get the chance that uh, the algorithm uh, would send this video your way. So, I would very much appreciate it. And hopefully, the algorithm would be uh, would be kind to me. That's for sure. And that's uh, that's what I wanted. That's that's what I am hoping for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Either way. Whether you do all of these or not, I would still give out my commentaries for you to consider and discern. Also, I would very much appreciate it if you would be very generous and you would be generous enough to support me on either Patreon, buy me a coffee, or through my PayPal account so I can get myself psychologically checked and see whether or not the symptoms I have observed with myself really meant something. Uh, basically, uh, if you would support me uh, financially, I would not only use it for the equipment here in Intrepid HQ, but I might as well um, consider uh, I might as well consider uh, having myself uh, officially diagnosed because honestly, self-diagnosis is um, is helpful, but it's just the first step. I believe it's just the first step. And uh, as much as I have all that punch. I would still like to rely on an official professional diagnosis and I hope your support would really help. So uh, I'm gonna end this video. <laughs> I hope my edit ko siya na maayos kasi sobrang haba neto. But wish me luck. So uh, with all that said, this is Intrepid Ian Rinyon reminding you to take care of yourself and take care of your brain. And at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to others and yourself, and as always, thank you for watching. See you next time. Ian out. Oh, by the way, before I end this video, if someone knew you were neurodivergent and or they call you names like Loko Loko, Baleo, May Saltek, or more, Here's what I can suggest as a response. At least kill ako sarili ko. Ekao. And I try to not drop some f bombs here, pero there's one reason I would have to drop this final f bomb, and it's very much appropriate, kasi it should have been done years ago. Fuck Asperger. He's a fucking Nazi. And that's the end of the video. <laughs> Let's go.